it is one of the most important skills to give our students so that they're, they're able to identify real versus fake information, that they're able to give citations for other people's works, to give uh, credit where credit is due. So they're able to protect their private information. I, I mean, it, it's important professionally and privately. It's one of the most important skills we need to get our students ready for. Another cornerstone of digital literacy is being able to protect your private information. That means being able to set responsible, strong passwords, whether that's on your computer or whether that's on your online account for your email or um, any of your online tools. Being able to protect all of your information and also identify sources that might be trying to take your information. For example, you might get a spoof email have you ever gotten an email from Google asking you to, oh, what is your password so that we can help you reset your password? And then you look at it really carefully and then you identify, oh, that's not Google's real email because there, something is really off about whether the email's um, spelling or maybe the syntax of that email. Another cornerstone of digital literacy is giving credit where credit is due. Essentially what you're already teaching, which is our students to cite where they get their information from. In this digital age, it's easier than ever to copy and paste information from anywhere on the net. And the net is so vast. Students might even think that I can get away from doing this. You need to let them know that that's not the case. And no matter what, if you use someone else's information, not only can we find that you've taken their information and copied and pasted it, it's okay to do that as long as you give them credit What a digital footprint is, is you leaving behind a small trace on the internet with every interaction you do, every time you log in and post a comment somewhere, every time you create a profile somewhere on the internet, you're leaving behind your name, you're leaving behind your IP address, you're leaving behind information. Sometimes that can be publicly followed. We focus a lot on the negatives of social media. But think about all the positive communities. Think about all the support that's also available on the internet. We need to teach our students how to behave responsibly as digital citizens. That's a cornerstone of digital literacy as well. What type of comments should we post when we're online? What should we avoid? When should we step away? I talked about citations. That's research. That's going to connect to science social studies, English, knowing how to filter sources, knowing how to use something respectable versus something that's not quite academic. Um, that's one way to plug digital literacy into our curriculum. If you're working with younger students for an editing assignment, send them a spoof email template and have them identify. How do you know that this is a fake email? Have them edit that email and kind of identify, oh, so this is how you can identify a spoof. Make it fun for them, make them learn the language, but make them learn also a real skill. Two good resources are Common Sense Media and I believe Media Smarts, which is a Canadian resource as well.